I decided to dive into the world of Final Fantasy XIV role-playing. When I started playing Final Fantasy XIV, and specifically streaming it, I joined a free company named Deep Fried Chocobo, and a lot of them peruse Final Fantasy XIV nightclubs. That's right, I said nightclubs. I was pleasantly surprised with how awesome this experience was. Now, I have nothing against role-playing. I have nothing against people who like to role-play in MMORPGs, but personally, I've never actually tried it myself. So I didn't even know that Final Fantasy XIV had housing this elaborate. But let me tell you my experience. I went into this house, one of my viewers brought us to, which was freaking awesome. And I went into the house with my friends and I went upstairs thinking like, oh, okay, maybe it's upstairs. No, I was wrong. The party was in the basement. So I went downstairs and it was an entire club venue. There were little parts sectioned off for VIP people. It was a full fledged bar that people could go and order drinks at. There was a stage with dancers and entertainers. And what my friends started to tell me was that there are actual nightclubs in the game like there are in real life. The venues can hire these DJs to go play at. I actually went in there and enjoyed myself. I had an amazing time. We started dancing. There was snow on top of the bar, guys. That's how crazy it was. And people started having snowball fights inside of the bar. I unlocked the emote for snowball throw. So I ended up partaking in the festivities. So this is my first time actually engaging in a role play scenario. Besides just going to the club and dancing, I went over to the bar and I was just sitting there and I targeted the bartender. I targeted the bartender and she in return private messaged me and said, hey, what can I get for you, sugar? I was like, okay, let's, let's play along with this. Let's play along with this a little bit. So I ended up replying and saying like, well, I'm interested in getting a drink. What do you recommend? And well, what are you in the mood for? It's my birthday, surprise me. And so she ended up giving me a dark, smoky beverage. It was really cool, it was really cool. And then she opened up the trade chat and traded me and gave me the items. And then I gave her a tip, just like you would in real life. It was, it was really interesting and something that I've never experienced in an MMORPG before. Everybody was in character. And when I mean everybody, everybody was in character. I felt out of place because I wasn't in character. I went in there with my normal adventure gear on and I felt like I needed to change my clothes in order to fit into this club scene. Everybody was wearing fancy club outfits and whatnot. And I didn't really feel like I fit in much. Overall, it was a really fun experience and a really cool way to celebrate my birthday. And uh, the fact that Final Fantasy XIV actually has this option available to you is incredible. The actual players in the game took the in-game housing to another level by inviting people over to their house in their basement or wherever this venue is, this nightclub specifically, in order to have a good time. I love the fact that this was actual music being played by an actual DJ on Twitch and you could hear it in game. I'm really not sure technically how that works because I was able to hear the music in game that they were playing from Twitch. So I need to look that up, but I, because I went on Twitch and I went to this guy's stream and I matched up the music and it was the same music that was being played at the nightclub. So I'm really curious how that all works. The DJ himself on Twitch was streaming from a camera inside of the nightclub. And he had multiple cameras that were switching back and forth. And I just imagine like it was their character or characters logged in and they would just like switch back and forth or something like that. It was a really cool experience and I would definitely do it again. So if you're on the fence about trying role playing in a game, just go give it a shot. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fun. It's heartfelt. You never know if you're going to have a good time or not. I think people in the role-playing community are probably some of the most friendly and exciting people that you'll meet in any MMORPG. But don't take my word for it, go and check it out yourself. The amount of content that Final Fantasy XIV provides to you is insane. You can actually go to these nightclubs and these player housing on the free trial of the game. All for free. Up to level 60, you can play up until the second expansion. I'm 120 hours into this online MMORPG, and I haven't even touched the second expansion yet. That's how crazy 
the amount of content that this game provides. Now, I wasn't 100% sure if every housing area was unlocked unless you bought the full game and expansions and paid monthly. I wasn't sure about that. Well, I imagine in certain areas you can't access if you don't have, if you haven't bought that expansion yet. Do you frequent nightclubs in Final Fantasy XIV? Do you RP in any other MMORPGs that I should check out? I'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below. With that being said, I will see you in the next video, adventurers. Take care. Thank you everyone for reaching the end of this video. I wanted to extend a holiday offer to everybody. So in 2023, I'm going to really start focusing on my Patreon more. I want to start giving back to you guys and show you some more behind the scenes footage, um, release my YouTube videos a little bit earlier over there. For the entire month of December, no matter what tier you sign up for on my Patreon, you will be given a free gift when you sign up. Here are the gifts that you receive for each tier. On top of a free gift, Half of your subscription amount will be going to Feeding America. At the end of the month, with every single new subscriber that I get over on my Patreon, I will be donating half of that cost over to charity. Now is the time to give back to those who you love and for those in need. At the end of the month, I will have a charity Twitch stream that will add on top of any donations and subscriptions that I get. Thank you so much for your support in 2022, and here's to an awesome 2023.